The second method we will be looking at in terms of navigating through the iPad is called flicking. Flicking involves the movement of one finger as if you were flicking dust off your shoulder. Flicking allows me to move in two directions. Flicking from left to right will move me to the next element. Flicking from right to left will move me to the previous element. This method of movement will come in handy in multiple applications and multiple pages of this device. I'm going to demonstrate flicking from left to right. As I flick from left to right, the focus or voiceover's focus moves from one icon to the next icon. So right now it's on messages. Calendar. And it Tuesday, just moves to March 20. It's a calendar. If I flick again, contacts. it moves to the contacts icon. If I flick again, reminders. it moves to the reminders icon. If I flick from right to Dog left, videos, maps, notes, reminders, contacts, calendar. it moves backwards. The way that flicking works is you can flick anywhere on the screen and what voiceover will do is move to the next element based on its last known location. If the last icon that voiceover was focused on was messages, then flicking to the right will move it to the next icon, which is calendar. If you try to move left from messages, you will get a sound like this. That thud means that, this, that you've reached the end of the line. Messages is the first icon on this page, so if you're trying to move to, to a previous element, there's nothing for you to move to. Which, so you get the audible cue saying, you can't go this way anymore, move the other way. So I'm going to flick to the other direction. Calendar. Also worth noting is that while you're moving the focus of voiceover around the screen, and as each icon is being announced, a marquee or box appears around the icon that is being spoken. Maps. Double tap to open. Messages. Double tap to open. So for example, right now, a marquee is around the messages icon. And when I flick to the right, calendar. that marquee moves to the calendar icon. And then back to the messages icon when I flick left. Messages. A little bit about flicking. Flicking is going to take some practice. If your finger makes contact with the screen for too long a period of time, the device will think that you're trying to move focus to a different part of the screen. Whereas flicking actually just has you moving from one element to the next, to the next, to the next, or to the previous one. So we want to make as quick a contact as possible with the screen and then release our finger from the screen. So I'm going to swoop in. Contact. And release. Swoop Reminders. and release. That way, my finger is barely touching the screen. It's touching, kind of Notes. sliding a little bit, and then lifting off. In time, you will become more proficient with flicking and be able to flick at, at higher speeds. And I will demonstrate that. Map, video, YouTube, iTunes, apps, game, FaceTime. Right, this gives me a little bit more flexibility in terms of how fast I get to the icon that I want. So let's say I'm, I know I'm looking for the YouTube app, but I don't know exactly where it is on the screen. I can bring my focus up to messages. Maps, messages, messages. Right? And Double then, tap to open. And then I can flick until I hear YouTube. Calendar, contact, reminder, notes, maps, videos, YouTube. There it is. And now I stop. Once I stop, I know that voiceover's focus is now on the YouTube icon, and I can proceed from there.